This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. This is my review for Season 1, Episode 4 of WandaVision, titled, We Interrupt This Program. First, I want to put a spoiler warning in this. I just realized I kind of forgot to do it for the last three episodes. But in them, nothing that major happens besides a few scenes. And this one has a lot more major plot stuff. And actually it is, and interesting enough, sort of makes the last three episodes kind of irrelevant. Since everything in those episodes also happened in this episode while they're viewing the monitors. I'll also do a quick recap of what happened. Since now there's actually stuff that is important to happen in it. The episode begins during the events of Avengers Endgame in the blip. Once everyone returns and we see that Monica Rambeau returns from being blipped. She goes to check on her mother thinking that no time has passed and learns her mother died years ago while well, her and half the population of Earth were presumed dead because Thanos wiped them out of existence. Monica is sent out on a mission to investigate the disappearance in a town. She meets Wu from uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I, I can't remember what his first name is. I'm kidding. I might be getting confused with the guy from Jurassic Park. So I'm just going to go with Agent Wu for this. I don't really feel like looking it up. And she goes up to the portal area where the town was. She touches it and is pulled in. Some scientists now arrive, including Darcy from the Thor movies and a few other scientists who I did not recognize. And they begin to do research. Darcy quickly realizes that there is a TV broadcast signal coming out from there. Asks for an old TV and is able to broadcast what is going on. For the rest of the episode, it is mainly them breaking down what's going on during the sitcom, realizing who is who. By that, I mean who's playing the characters in the show. And trying to figure out what is happening as it goes to different moments throughout the show that we've seen so far. This finally catches up to episode 3, where we see Wanda ejecting Rambo from the town of Westview. And we finally return to Wanda and Vision right after they met up at the end of the last episode. And they begin to talk with Wanda seeing Vision as he truly was, dead with a Mind Stone ripped out of his head, which to me I think is the most terrifying image that was in the MCU at this point. And that's sort of saying something really because the scariest thing in the MCU at this point was probably zombie Iron Man, which I don't even think was that bad. But I definitely think, at least not for me, but for others, that zombie uh, vision, or undead one, and if any kids watch this, they may get nightmares from that. And I really think that is the most terrifying thing they have released in the MCU. But they could go well into Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, which is supposed to be a horror movie. And I'll say this is my favorite episode of the show. I love how it just felt like this is just basically people watching the show and wondering what's trying to go on and trying to depict all the little details in it. I think they captured this very well. And besides the stuff of us knowing it's all fictional, they really don't know it. And they think way more different stuff and they're thinking more of an in-universe way as we are thinking of using other stuff including Marvel Comics as a knowledge. But it's still a very interesting way to set it up, and I love the characters in it, and I'm interested that they brought so many characters back. Thinking about who could do this to her, I really think that it's just her doing it to herself, since we revealed that this takes place around three weeks after Endgame. Since it's three weeks since the blip happened, which is confirmed in the beginning of the episode, and assuming that Tony Stark's funeral took place about a week after the battle. Solomar had to manipulate Wanda and make up a plan within about a week to a week and a half. And then I feel like this really wouldn't have well worked out so well, so that could be possible. But I think it's a lot more likely that Wanda caused this herself and maybe asked for help from that one character that I think a lot of people are assuming is one of the witches or 
mystical characters from Marvel Comics. And maybe even the devil is putting a little bit of influence. But I think that this is almost all Wanda's decision. With very little manipulation put onto her. Besides that, I love this episode. I think it built a lot more onto the lore and everything. And I'm excited for the episode that happens next. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. And may the force be with you. Oh. <sighs>